Alright, this is what I did. The six even screws all the way around. First, this, notice there's a hole in that, but I put it where, I don't plan on putting magnets, it's where the big hole goes through to bolt the two covers together for the uh, wind turbine uh, alternator. This is going to be running AC current. There's a small gap, but this is going to be nice and balanced only because I epoxied everything in or glued with super glue with clamps so it kept it nice and it's perfect all the way around and then as an extra what I did was I, I drilled and I put some uh, sheet rock sheet rock I'm sorry I apologize uh, sheet metal screws that the, you know the, the profiles low all the way around and it's evenly spaced I got six of them in there took a little bit to get the uh, the measurement right around, but I used a pair of dial calipers and gapped them all so they were all perfect. Drilled the holes, bang. So now I don't have to worry about the banding coming loose because when you super glue the banding onto this metal, it'll hold temporarily. Uh, hot and cold temperatures change the consistency of the super glue itself and it will pop off. This way, it's it's machine screwed in. It will not. As for the tips, I'm going to use my Dremel and make them flush. So it'll all be steel. It'll all be flush. That'll be the next. Okay. First, I use the little cutoff tool. Cut off all the big you know, nipples sticking out, the tips of the screw stick sticking out. Then I use a, just a little sander. You can use a stone wheel. I prefer the sander. It's my preference. And then, I took, and so they're all flush, nothing sticking out. I got one, two, three, four, five, six. This one I'm going to touch up a little. Uh, of course, I'm using a camera. I'm going to try to hold it at the same time the camera as I show and here's my little Dremel nice and flush so now when you look down that nothing sticking out and what that's going to do is it's going to hold this steel banding in right here a lot tighter rather than re relying on epoxy resins or any glues but everything as you can see nice nice as for the Dremel uh, variable speed um, I used I think it's an 80 grit, maybe 100 grit. Uh, and as for the cutoff wheels, it's a little cutoff wheel. And let me get off the ground here. Here's a little, try to get the reflection out of the way here. There you go. Get a little jar of them. Um, I have the extension that goes on the Dremel to make it so it's like a dentist tool, a little handheld, and I, I prefer holding a big piece of material rather than this little tiny spool. But uh, I use that Dremel all the time. Love it. Green. That's how I kept them separate from the north and south, north and south pole. You have better lighting, black, green, black, green, black, green, so the north, south, north, south, north, south, north, south, north, south, north, all the way around. Now I'm going to put the uh, stator in, which is right here, line it up, make sure these are all in the right where they should be. Then I'm going to take the stator back out. Well, I'll glue these once the magnets temporarily glue them. Then pull the stator out. Once they're all lined up, 
Uh, then I'm going to do Muddy Mudman. I'm going to fill. I'm going to put some tape, block this whole area off all the way around. And, you know, some of the holes along the bottom. And I'm going to fill it with resin. I got it right here. <laughs> Fiberglass resin. I think that's probably the best bet so that they don't, all the magnets don't break free. I did the same, you know, extra precaution. I've got some sheet metal screws. And they're all smoothed off. You can't even tell that they're in there. That's holding the band. Along with glue. There's glue on it. And then I also evenly all the way around to hold that band. I mean, that, that band's solid. It's pretty thick, too. The band is pretty thick. I don't know, I'd say 16th of an inch. It was tough to get, you know, make a circle out of it, but I, I wanted it strong. Okay, what I did was I did a quick tape off. Rough. I, I know it's a little rough, but it's all sealed there. And all the holes all the way around, well, roughly, I packed it in there real good, you know, so the holes. And what I'm going to, I'm not worried about these holes, because that's separate. Those are on the inside here. Uh, I'm going to do some resin pouring. I don't think I'm going to fill it all the way to the top, just, just, just about halfway on the magnets. So, half of the magnets. And we'll let it cure, take, take everything off. And if it's out of balance, I'm not too concerned because to balance it, uh, if I have to, I can add weight, you know, to give it a good balance. I, I will balance it. I do have a nice little balance system, a little bubble balancer. I can stick it on there and, beep, you know, balance it, you know, see that things floating around. So I can do that. Get a nice balance on it. Okay, I did the resin fill. I used, I mixed it in a, in a gallon jug, but I cut the top off and filled a tiny hole. And after it was all mixed, I got tons left in there. I sat there and just poured it slowly and I got it pretty much right to the very tops of the magnets all the way around. Looks like it worked pretty good. I have to do some sanding after. I'm not worried about that. I got a little bit in there. That, that'll that come off. I can sand it. I think uh, I got no leaks. My tape worked pretty good. Now I'm just going to let it cure. What can I do with that? 